On the Mr. Bass channel, I try to share with you everything I know about bass fishing, fishing techniques, fishing education, all kinds of different things, along with a lot of cast and catch videos because I love to fish. One thing that's really important to me is fishing tackle. I am a fishing tackle junkie. I'm addicted to it. I've got tons of it. And um, it's expensive and it needs to be protected and preserved. So the tackle storage uh, market out there has kind of gone crazy. There's a lot of competitors and they're all trying different things from sticky gel pads like the lure lock guys do, which are awesome, to complete modular systems like I'm going to review today. And I wanted to take what I think are the two leaders in the segment and compare those two. You've got the Plano Edge series and in particular the Flex series. Although um, I'm going to talk about a lot of the Plano Edge stuff. The Flex series in, a, in my mind is the most intriguing. And it's the one that directly competes with the Busby Tackle Management System. The Busby Tackle Management System I think has kind of turned everyone on their heels. And made people like Plano, made companies like Plano come up with new alternatives. Now Plano is probably leading the industry though when it comes to incredible creative tackle systems. Their edge system has so many options. They've got uh, these crazy systems with, the, with this divider here for uh, lipless crankbaits and jerk baits and small crankbaits. Uh, kind of a rubbery plastic insert here that really is unique. They also have other boxes like this jig box here that <clears throat> holds all of your jigs in one place. I have jigs and chatterbaits in this one at the moment. And it's just very creative and unique. They've got specialty spinnerbait boxes. They've got all kinds of specialty boxes. And by far, I think Plano is leading the market when it comes to so many different options. But what if you're a fisherman that really can't afford 15 different technique boxes? You just need one system that is flexible, that you can manage and, 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 and that's modular, that will really help you be successful as a fisherman. That's what the Busby guys were trying to create, I believe. They came up with this really ingenious modular tackle box that basically has these inserts, modular inserts, that fit into the base of the box through this kind of, they call it a th like a honeycomb Lego system. These have uh, deals on the bottom and they just snap in and you can configure this box any way under the sun you want. Really very clever. Now Plano does not have a system exactly like this, but they did develop the Edge series which I feel like is a direct competitor. Now the way the Edge series works is they have placed these grooves in the bottom of the box. Let's see if you can see that, these grooves. And there's a bunch of individual squares here along with a huge amount of dividers. And you can literally take the, these dividers out the dividers are pretty sweet. They're, uh, they're pre-cut so you don't have to tear any apart. They're thicker and sturdier than you would have in normal dividers. And they've got these holes in them for air circulation. So what this does is it gives you the ability to create as many different sizes of compartments within your box that you want. You can uh, you know, like, let me just snap one or two in here and just give you an example. Like right here, just by putting three dividers in, I've created four different unique cavities. A really bad, big cavity where maybe if you wanted to put swim baits or line or tools, stuff like that. Then you can have some smaller cavities here uh, for terminal tackle or for jigs or crankbaits. And then here's one long, skinny divider that you could put worms in or or, or long uh, hard baits you know 
just by putting in three dividers, you can you can create whatever you want. And this system gives you the ability of complete and total flexibility. And that in and of itself, I think, is what's really exciting about these boxes. Now compare the Busby system. The Busby system, in theory, gives you the same option. You just have to buy these inserts separate and and then put them in like for example this this long, very long skinny one is what they call a one by four you could purchase enough one by fours and they come in you know they come in boxes like this you just can buy them separate if you want you could buy enough one by fours to fill the whole box up with nothing but one by fours if that's what you wanted the uh, box comes with kind of a this configuration but you could you, you could mix it any way you want and I did another video on this about how what's really cool about this kind of a configuration and, and it holds true for the edge flex you could in theory create a day box with everything you're going to need for one day on the water I've got one here that I put together for cold water here's a Busby box uh, just for cold water fishing in my area right now and if you're a guy in a kayak or, or, oops, I'm dumping my stuff out here. If you're a guy in a kayak or fishing from the bank or, or carrying stuff in a backpack or something like this, this really is kind of awesome because it gives you the opportunity to carry a ton of different things in one box. So like I've got in this one, I've got drop shot worms, I've got a rigs, I've got swim baits, crank baits, I've got jerk baits, I've got uh, blade baits, and then I've got Ned rigs and uh, the terminal tackle that I would need for the Ned rig and for the drop shot. So just with one modular creative system, you can really create a very unique day box that I think is fantastic. And one problem with your traditional boxes is one, they're not flexible. So if your bait doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. But two, terminal tackle is a real problem. You almost always have to have a separate terminal tackle box to take with you. Well, you don't have to do that with a modular box because you can actually have, with like with these Busby's, these uh, squ one by one squares basically that uh, you could put terminal tackle in. Weights, hooks, rattles, all kinds of things that uh, it's just very unique. It's a it's a great system, I believe, in a lot of ways. But there are downsides and drawbacks to every system, and that's the that's the reality. Quite frankly, there is not, and there probably never will be, one tackle management system out there that works for everything. It's just not possible, because the the possibilities are absolutely endless. But these come pretty darn close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through uh, just kind of step by step here and show you the features of each box and compare so that you can see whether they have the same features or what features are different. And then maybe you can make a good purchasing decision for yourself if you're not in the market for both of them. First, let's talk about the boxes themselves, what, what each company offers. Now, the Plano Edge series, and all the Edge series look like this. They have this long edge latch, and I think that's why they call them the Edge series. They don't have latches on the sides, just one long latch on the edge, and then they have a label on the edge. They have tons of different options for this, so I'm not really going to get into those options but if you're comparing the Edge Flex system, I think that compares closest to the Busby system. And they've got basically a 3700 series box and a 3600 series box. The, the Colony or the Busby system has the same thing. They've got a 3700 box and a 3600 box. They call it the Colony 28 for the big box the Colony 15 for the 3600 series box. Don't know why they don't just call it 37 and 36, but anyway, that's, that's that. Price-wise, if you look at the price, they're almost the exact same price. $39.99, $39.95, really four cents difference. So not, not, a, not a big deal there. 
This comes with all the dividers you need. This comes pre-filled with dividers. But if you wanted a specific combination, you're going to have to buy a divider separate. So price and availability or available boxes at the moment are about the same. The main difference that you'll notice is that this 3700 box and Plano's 3700 box are not the same size. The Edge series is deeper. And to me, I like that. Now some guys like skinny boxes. I tried skinny boxes. I don't really like skinny boxes. I prefer the, the thicker, taller boxes. So to me, that gives uh, Plano a little bit of an edge. But other than that, they're, they're, they're very similar. They both have gaskets in the lid to make them, to give them a waterproof seal. Both have a gasket. Uh, they both have clear lids, but the edge lid is much easier to see through completely, your tackle. Uh, so I would give the edge the edge on being able to see through the lid if that's important to you. Because although, although the Busby is clear, it's got logos on it and it's got these indentations. These indentations are actually so that the boxes stack on each other pretty well. They're, and that's another feature. They both are made to stack on top of each other. Uh, if you buy more than one box, the, the stacking feature, I guess, is, is, is a good feature. The waterproof ability, I think, is critical. There are other tackle systems out there that claim to do similar things, but they're not waterproof. And I would say in today's day and age, you need waterproof boxes, especially if you're a kayak fisherman. If you're on a boat, maybe it's not so as important, but I, I, I've just kind of gotten to where I prefer waterproof over anything else. Now, the latching system. As I said, the Plano Edge has only one latch. It goes down the length of the box, and it's supposed to be real easy to open and close, and for the most part, it is. The only time I found it's a little bit of a problem is it has one long latch, but it has to latch on these two, two hooks, basically. And sometimes when you close, you'll get it on one, and it won't quite, just like there, it didn't quite latch on this one. And so it's not really latched on this side, even though it's closed. So part of their shtick was you can open and close a box with only one hand. And you can. You just have to be careful that when you're trying to close it with one hand, that you kind of close it in the middle. Because if you close from one edge or the other, the other edge most of the time doesn't, doesn't latch. Now the Busby latch system has two latches on it. And they claim uh, that they are super durable, and you can tell. The latches on these boxes are way more durable than the edge latch. But I don't know if that really matters. Uh, the other thing I like about Busby boxes is these latch hinges, or whatever you want to call uh, the actual latch mechanism itself, is stainless steel. It's never going to rust, and it's super sturdy. Also... Uh, these latches are made so that if you break them, uh, they're easily replaceable. They pop off and you can buy a replacement l uh, latch and pop it right back on. I am not sure about whether Plano provides a replacement latch, but I would assume they probably don't. Their latch latching mechanism is fine, but it is much cheaper plastic, and I pretty much know from past experience with Plano that once you... Once you break a latch, it's broken for good. You're probably just going to have to replace the box. Uh, but the latch in and of itself is adequate. It does the job. And it is nice to have just one latch. You know, their previous waterproof boxes, you had a latch on the front and a latch on both sides. Those are probably more waterproof, to tell you the truth. But you had to do three, you had to unlatch with three different spots. That was kind of a pain. So that's the latching mechanism. Let's talk about the hinge for the lid. You might not think that's a big deal, but I think it is a big deal. The Plano Edge has a hinge here and a hinge here. And they say they're steel hinges, not stainless steel. Steel rusts. But look at what Busby does. Busby has a hinge the entire length of the box. It starts here, 
goes all the way down. That, and guess what? It's a stainless steel hinge. It's a stainless steel hinge. That really matters, especially if you're in salt water fishing all day, every day. And you can see all the hinge points along here. To me, the odds of you breaking this lid off are almost impossible. I think your, the hinge system is way better and it's going to last you many, many more years than the Plano hinge system. That, that's just reality. Another thing that Busby does that I don't even care about, but some of you might, is they put a little security hole in the lid of this box. So you could put a padlock in there if you wanted, or a zip tie. I guess if you're worried about somebody breaking open your box and stealing your stuff, you could even padlock your boxes to something. Like you could lock them in your kayak or something if you... So I'm probably just not going to take the time to worry about that. But it does have a locking hole. Uh, the Plano Edge does not. So that might be something important to you. Another interesting feature about the Busby uh, box versus the Edge box, they claim, in fact, they guarantee these boxes float even when they're loaded up with tackle. Well, that's a big deal, especially if you're a kayak fisherman again. It's, uh, if you fish a kayak long enough, you're going to dump over at some point in time. And if you knew that your boxes would float and you could recover all your tackle, that in and of itself might be the reason to go with the Busby box. Plano does not make any claims at all about flotation, and I assume that's because they don't expect they're going to float if you dump them in the water. If it's empty, it's a plastic box. If the lid's sealed, it's going to float. But will it float if it's full of tackle? That's the question. The other thing is Busby box is made out of way stronger plastic. Uh, they show, you can go on and see videos of them driving trucks over this. It's very, very strong. They call it some military grade, super duper plastic. Uh, you can just feel there's no flex in this box. There's no twist in this box. It is as strong and durable of any box out there. This box is also molded and it's very strong. But there is just a slight bit of flex in it. Uh, you can kind of, especially when you, when you open the lid, the box really flex and bends and twists. So over time, it's probably going to have a tendency to warp and bend more than, than other boxes. But it's still, I don't know how important that is to you. It's still a very solid box. I don't want to make it sound like it's a cheap feeling box because it's not. Um, Okay, the next thing is rust protection. I really feel like Plano probably has the edge on rust protection. Now, Busby claims that all of the plastic in their box is infused with a rust inhibiting chemical and that that will help protect rust. So, great. They all do that though now. Flambo started it years ago, and now everybody's copying them. Every single company out there now says, we've got super duper special plastic that puts out a chemical that prevents rust. So Busby has it, so does Plano. So that I consider even. But Plano does some other things that make them even top of the market for, for rust and water, rust protection and water prevention. They, uh, look at these dividers. I already showed them to you, but all of their dividers have these holes in them so that air can circulate through the box. And why is that important? Because if you get water in the box or you got water on your hooks or water on your baits that you put in the box, that airflow is going to help that water evaporate much quicker. The other thing, Plano Edge flex boxes have the flex and the edge boxes and they got this little thing called a water wick and it's just a removable item that you can put anywhere in the box that you want it has a, a little groove on here so that it actually slides slides on the uh, divider grooves 
and stays in place, but it is a, it absorbs moisture. It sucks up moisture in the box and absorbs the moisture. Uh, well, Busby doesn't have that at all. So this uh, box, I think, if you're if you're really worried about rust, the Plano box by far, it, it hands down wins that. It's got a waterproof seal. It's got the rust chemical prevention, the rust inhibitor chemical in it. It's got the water wick, and it's got the dividers that uh, the air flows through. They win that, hands down, no question about it. All right, the next thing is weight. To me, the Busby system is definitely the heavier system. I'm going to weigh this. I got a little scale here. I'm gonna weigh uh, the Busby colony box full of bins. And I don't think the bin configuration is going to matter. Ultimately, I think the weight's going to be pretty close no matter how you configure it. With the bins in it, this thing is two pounds, seven ounces. So two and a half pounds. Not terribly heavy, but that's without the tackle in it. Once you load it up with tackle, the weight's going to go way up. Just take, for example, this day box, this wintertime day box that I created. You put you put that on the scale almost four pounds in, in fact it's right at four pounds well if you got three or four of these in a backpack that's that's gonna get super heavy and also if you're on a bass boat there's a lot of guys who care big time about weight in a bass boat so they can get up on plane quickly and they can get the highest speed to get to their spot first well this may be a factor because I guarantee you the Busby systems is probably the heaviest tackle system out there. So let's look at the Flex Edge box. Empty. What's it weigh? One pound six ounces. But that's not with the dividers. You really need the dividers in there. So I'm just going to throw all the dividers in. almost three pounds so really once you depending upon the configuration of the divider system the Plano Edge may still be just as heavy as the Busby box so this is definitely an unscientific experiment but just from my own personal opinion I still feel that the Busby box is probably heaviest all right so let's talk a little bit about the dividers uh, a little more I am really impressed with the Plano Edge Flex dividers, without question. They are much thicker and much sturdier than their traditional plastic dividers. But one downside is that takes more room inside your box, so you may have overall less room for your tackle. But to me, it's still worth it. I, once I tried this and, and really looked at these, to me, hands down, this Flex system I wouldn't use any other Plano system now. This is what I would use when it comes to Plano boxes. Now what about the Busby though? This is one complaint that I've heard people say, and I agree with it, on their divider system. Look how thick theirs are. Now thick is good in that it's strong, uh, but you're, you're taking up a lot of tackle space by having all of these thick edges on around all these boxes. So it does limit, I think it does limit the amount of tackle that you can cram in one of these boxes compared to one of the old school boxes. But is waterproof and modular ability to change things around and all the other benefits, is that worth it? You've got to make that decision. But you, you do need to keep in mind that the Busby system has less overall floor space to put baits in. The other downside to the Colony uh, boxes by Busby is that there are only one depth and they need a deep box. That, that's one thing that they really do need. They need a deep box. And Plano's kind of gone with this semi-deep, uh, deeper than normal, but not as deep as some of the deep boxes. And I think it's about perfect, to tell you the truth, as far as that goes. Uh, other kind of uh, other benefits out there, as far as these boxes go. One is that the Busby box claims to 
have sunblock in it so the sun is not going to fade, crack, uh, damage, or harm your boxes at all. That's something unique. Plano, to my knowledge, does not do that. There's no sun protection in, in, the, in these boxes. One thing that I do think Plano is better at here is their labeling system. I am super anal about my label. See there how it didn't quite latch? I latched it once on, on the edge and it didn't quite latch both sides again. That's just kind of the nature of these boxes. But the this edge here where you can easily label what you got in your on your box, I love that. I'm a big fan of labeling my boxes anyway. As you can see, I've got a label printed on there. But they make it easy. All you got to do is write on it, and you can do a permanent marker, and then wipe it off, and it, it's, it's great. Easy label. Uh, Busby does not have any kind of an easy label system. You could put, print your own labels and put them on there, but not an easy way to label these boxes. So another thing that both boxes have that is great is that because they're modular, because these have bins, you put crankbaits in them, your crankbaits are not going to get hooked under the dividers. You know how that happens. That's a pain. And the Plano Edge system, even though the dividers are separate, they are so well molded into the box and they have these grooves that they snap down into, your hooks are not going to get caught underneath these dividers either. And that's convenient. That seems like a little, little nitpicky thing. But when you're on the water, there's nothing more annoying than having your hooks caught underneath your divider edges. Don't have to, don't have to worry about that with these boxes. Also, they, they are good for terminal tackle. Uh, at least the Busby boxes are. And what I mean by that is you can put a whole bunch of these smaller uh, one by ones or the one by twos. You could, you could make you a complete terminal tackle box as modular as you want. I think this is an excellent system for terminal tackle. Uh, way better than the edge system. But how, do, how does Plano uh, fix that problem? They just have their own terminal tackle box. It's not an edge flex box, but it's a terminal tackle box and it's fantastic. So it competes just fine with this. The difference is that with the Busby box, you only gotta buy one box if you're on a budget and you could make it a terminal tackle box, you could make it a box for your baits, or you could take half the box, keep terminal tackle in half, put baits in the other half. When it comes to terminal tackle, the Busby system, I think, has a better option if you're trying to stick with one box, but the Plano Edge terminal tackle boxes are awesome in and of themselves, so they've got a solution. And if you wanted a, a, a specific terminal tackle box, that edge terminal tackle box might be the way to go. I just think, here's something that I think is probably more important than anything about these two. These two boxes give you so many more options than most of the boxes on the market. And you say to yourself, well, I don't want to pay 40 bucks for a box. Okay, fine. Don't. Go buy the cheap boxes. The cheap boxes work fine but they have no flexibility. And what you end up doing is you end up having to buy more boxes to cover different techniques where you can actually do a ton of stuff with just one single box. So what do you think is the better box? Busby or Edge Flex? I think the answer is it really depends. It depends on what you're looking for. I love both of them to tell you the truth. And I'm confident I'm going to use both systems uh, because they're both that good. They're both that unique. They both give you so many different options. I'm excited about the way the tackle management industry is going. I'm excited about the different options that are out there. And I'm going to show you some other tackle systems and compare those as well. But to me, these two are the cream of the crop. They're up there at the top right now. I don't see anybody even competing with them. I know guys say, well, Flambeau's got... Look, I've looked at everything Flambeau's got. I just don't think they, they can touch these guys right now. But Flambeau does make some great products, and I'm sure they're, they're going to come up with something. Anyway, 
that's that. That's uh, all I've got to share with you as far as comparison head-to-head -head these two boxes. I hope it was helpful. If so, please like, subscribe, and share this video. It would mean a lot to me. And hit that notification bell for the next time I post a video. Uh, please also in the comments, let me know what you're looking for. Let me know what you think of these boxes. Let me know what your favorite box is. Let me know what box you'd like to see a review on. I've probably owned it, and if I don't, I can probably get go out and get it and, and review it. Uh, I love fishing, and I love fishing tackle, and I hope you do too. And until next time, this is Mr. Bass. Happy fishing!